It's new comic book day. Welcome to Alterniverse. Yeah, a lot of new books this week. Some more Dark Web, Avengers. Um, what is it? Avengers uh, Across Time? Yes. Yeah, a lot, a lot of good stuff this week. Um, so come check out new comic book day. Time to get shot in the face. It's the brightest day. Where are the heroes? Marvel United X Men. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because I figure Ronaldo may want to play. Why is she purple? Because she is both villain and hero, oh. as is Magneto. Red means they're completely villain. Blue means they're heroic. And then of course I've got the other these other X Men. Who do you want? Like these other X Men? Oh really? Oh, who do you have in there? Oh, I want Bishop or Colossus. One of the two. Who's better? They're both good. I think Colossus has more strength to offer, and Bishop has more thingings to do. Are you going to be playing this as well, Sam? Mm, I don't know. Hey, sh it'll be fine. I'll make, I'll make four. What's good, Council of Comics? You know what time it is. It's my pick time. I say this every week. It's not Phil's pick. It's not Cliff's picks. It's not Ronaldo, Joey, Steve, Paul, Anthony's. It's my picks. And what great picks they are. Let's go. Only got two DC books. Because DC, you just ain't cutting it. And I ain't falling for the Lazarus stuff. We got Batman The Adventures Continues, Season 3, Number 1. I got all the number ones from all seasons, so I had to get this one. And we got Wildcats. Let's read the rest of the books, though. Wildcats Number 3. <laughs> This is a great series. They're one of the few from DC. Next up, we got some Star Wars books. We got uh, Darth Vader, number 30. That's a cool cover right there. Very nice. Then we got Star Wars The High Republic, number 4, from volume 2. We got cover A, pretty good. And cover B, pretty dope. We also have Star Wars The High Republic Adventures. From Dark Horse, very nice, very nice. We have the Mandalorian um, pre-production cover for issue number seven. And we have Star Wars number 30. Star Wars got some really good books out there. Go pick them up. Let's see what I got here. I have Gold Goblin issue one, the second print. I thought it was a cool cover. Got that out of the cover by Another cover by is the, uh, what is this, the main Spider-Man 17 or 18, I think. But this is the uh, Disney variant. Thought that was pretty cool. And I got the facsimile to Flash one, uh, no, wait, 123. I collect all the facsimiles. Closest I'll get to owning something like that, right? <laughs> and then we got, this is uh, Captain America. This is the symbol of truth, right? No. Symbol of truth. Yeah, this is issue nine. The Scotty Young variant. Then we got, this is a great book, Carnage, issue nine. I didn't think I was going to like Carnage at first, man, but he got me hooked. And 
Hi, and welcome to Cliff's Corner, where I show you what you should be reading with me so that we can have a good time with comics. <laughs> so Wildcats number three, because it's a limited series, and the art and the story are pretty good, and they're fighting the Talons, which I, I well, I'm quarter battle, so like, I think that's pretty cool. I think some of you agree with me. Now, Mark Wade wrote a very nice Lazarus Pit Alpha, and I wanted to hate it, and I wanted Planet to be against Lazarus. it. Hmm? Lazarus Planet. Oh, Planet. whatever. Lazarus Planet. Ooh. All right. The point is, I'm super angry about Dark Crisis, as everybody knows, and I know you're tired of hearing me talk about it. But I decided to give it a chance, and I like it, so we're in. Uh, the Danger Street, which is like featuring characters from uh, first issue special, which I think is just great. Like issue one featured the death of Atlas, and Atlas is like the first character introduced in first issue special of the series. Um, and then like we got like a JSA story going on here. We got the Helmet of Naboo narrating the whole thing. It's like, I like it. It's like quirky and it's like fun. It's like a little bit of a mystery and a little bit of a cosmic story. So it's like, it's got all the elements. <laughs> Two seals fighting, and one was because like, I use these two seals, seals. I was like, well, wait. really? I'm and surprised. Then the mama seal was like, pack it in. <laughs> How long did you watch that? Years ago. Right. Here we go. Let's do a little unboxing of uh, CGC. So I already know what's here, obviously, but uh, these are some new books to the store. I'm gonna show up. Got Alien number one. This is a Clayton Crane um, from. Uh, 2021. Yeah. So, Alien number one by Clayton Crane, 9.8. This is a variant. This is the first appearance of Damien in his uh, like old Batman <laughs> outfit, and that's him on the cover. Um, this is Batman 635. It's CGC 9.0. This is a one in 25. It's kind of a rare book. Um, of course, Black Adam. Yeah, that's the Winter Special, the number one. This is the variant cover. Again, it's a 9.8. Uh, this is Captain Marvel 14. This is the first Kamala Khan. So, it's 9.4. That book, of course, heating up. She will be in the Marvels next. Um, this is Daredevil um, 252. It's a Fall of the Mutants tie-in. Um, it's got a appearance by um, Black Widow. Um, Trying to think of who else is in the book. Oh, Typhoid Mary, like that character that becomes Typhoid Mary. Here's, here's where she appears. So it's kind of a cool book. It's got the it's got the X Men logo because it's an X Men tie in. Yeah. Fall of the Mutants. Yeah. This is an older book. This is Iron Man 108. Um, this is from 1978, um, and it's a 9.8. So it's just kind of an older 9.8. Nice. An example of a. There's only like 18 on the registry. 9.8, but like there's only probably 100 to that on the registry altogether. Right. And this is the first appearance of Lobo. Of course, a lot of talk about this character lately, especially with the potential that Jason Momoa may play him in a DC movie. Mm. I don't know why. He's Aquaman. We all know this. Some of you maybe can't accept it, but whatever. Anyway, this is Omega Man number three, first Lobo, 9.4. Whatever card you play, you still can use the two, the two, the two powers I use. Oh yeah, standard yeah. powers. So we're doing kind of clockwise. That's clockwise. Yeah. Just starting with me. Did they not teach you clockwise in school, Joe? It's just weird because I chose to be the focal point. I get it. Where'd you go to school, Joe? Ignoring you. Ignoring you. Are you from LaGrange? Was it, was it a big school that wears a lot of red? It's far. So you've got two, you've got two moves, a, a punch, and a heroic. Is that alright? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow! I, I moved there late. I don't even know what my mascot so. is. <laughs> hey, everybody. These are my picks for this week. Pretty light week, only five books. The Batman Incorporated, this has been very fun. Um, I'm pleasantly surprised. Art's been good, too. This I'm taking a chance on, Spawn Unwanted Violence. I'm not used to him doing one-ofs. There's so many Spawn books, but interior looks good, so we're going to try. Todd, Todd as a writer is a little, sorry Todd, Nemesis 
reloaded. I gotta show support to my boy Jimenez. It looks beautiful. You've never seen Jimenez really do anything bloody. It, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, it looks really good. I had to get the black and white cover with all the blood there too. It's really nice. Shut your ass up. Uh, hello, council, comic council or council of comics. See, I got I got a distractor over here. You know, this is a guy who always pulls out his phone. He's searching for the damn thing right now. So he gonna do some more goofy shit and post it, and then we'll, I'll be on Facebook doing stupid shit like that. But that's what he does. Not that I do. That's him. That's my nemesis. <laughs> okay. So up first is uh. Hi, right, yo. Batman and the Joker, the Deadly Duel. They say this is a good read. I read the first two. This is pretty good. This is volume three of Batman Adventure Continues. They say a key is in this one, so I'm interested. The artwork looks good. It's tighter than it was before. Star Wars High Republic. There's a, this is a key issue. About five characters in here, I think. Bad cover. Raza. Yeah, just had to go for it. This one is Mary Jane and Black Cat. This is Adam Hughes. Mary Jane is being venomized. They was over there. I will. Don't worry. I guess I. I guess I break down. I break down. Cause you my man. See, this is love. See, this is family. I don't want to, but I'm going to because he's my man. See, watch this, people. I'm going to do it on camera. Oh, thank you. Do it on camera. There, there's no one. To... Ooh, wait, look at the leather. Ooh, the leather look like it's damn near real, don't it? It's made my day. Mm -hmm. The leather look damn near real. Mm -hmm. Psst, hot. Hot. All right, what's up, Council of Comics? New comic book day, and I got the Marvel books from last week that I missed to start things off. Avengers, uh, the Gold Goblin, uh, Fantastic Four, which is a homage to number 48, the first Galactus and a Watcher. Uh, Joe Fix It, and I got this cover because I have the original, the homage, the original cover. This is a homage to the Days of Future Past, the Marauders. Like the cover, just like yeah, I gotta get it. I got the comic. Uh, Hulk, Road Breaker. I like this because I like the uh, Planet Hulk stuff, the stuff with like Sakar where he was fighting in the arena and stuff, like all that stuff from uh, Thor Ragnarok. That kind of came out of the comic. Um, Star Wars. Uh, X Force. X-Force is uh, pretty good. You know, Beast might be a bad guy. And uh, the Scarlet Witch, number one. And she looks angry right there. <laughs> What's up? So my fix this week. My Bills are in the playoffs this weekend. So it's all pray for Damar Hamlin. Hopefully he comes back. Uh, anyway, all right. Uh, so these are from last week because Marvel was late. So I have Avengers 64. I like the uh, Garone cover. Marauders 10, another excellent so book I still moves. read. And I went with the Clone Wars Star Wars cover. I think Sam went with the, the regular one. Uh, X-Force 36. And then, now let's get to this week. This week, I'm giving Black Cloak a shot, because it looks interesting. It might be ridiculous, but I'm giving it a shot. I think Gospel's only going to five, and this is number three, so I'm gonna wait until that's done. I'll read the whole thing in, in one. Um, same thing with least we can do. I think this is going to 10, but um, so that. And then Nemesis. Nemesis no, I've been waiting for. Jimenez is doing the artwork. I like Molar's writing. Uh, I really like the first run of it, so I'm getting all of the covers. And hopefully, maybe yeah. they will be worth something. Show, yeah. So I, I like that one. This is the sketch one. So this one's a little gruesome. <laughs> this is a little simpler. Yep. And that's what's kind of gross too. But I think they had one something very similar to that, if I remember correctly, on the first one. I think it was like number episode, or issue four might have had something similar.
I'm saying, so this is done. Okay. So I need one more star on this one. All right, now the villain goes every two turns, which means the next turn is his. <sighs> I didn't like that. Okay. Move to and bam. So one, two. You can't bam. Wait, well, no. At the beginning of at the start of the villain's turn, add the thing across. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, from, oh, okay. Right. That's All what right. I was worried. Then bam, add a thug. Add a thug. Deal one damage to Archangel. Put one card to the bottom of your deck from your hand. Each here on the location location. Each here on the okay, and then each one gets a freaking thug. Alright, because of the card. Wait, where did I put this card? Oh, no wonder I'm like over here like, what am I reading? Alright, let's go, man. Let's do it. Chillin'? Yeah, I'm chilling. How are you? I'm good. You got some books there? I do. Do you want would you like to see them? Sure. Alright. Hold on a second. I'm just gonna breeze through. I'm not gonna give you a reason. I just like the comics and that's why I'm that's why I'm collecting them. Some of them I haven't gotten to yet. I got two kids at home, so they kind of keep me busy. All against all. It's kind of on the... Whoa! Whoa. (laughs) All right, nice catch there. Carnage. Daredevil. He's... Daredevil's my 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 main guy. I love Daredevil. Collect it no matter what. Old vintage Bullseye Electra. I think uh Elect is Electra dies in this one? Yeah. Yeah. In the original. This has been pretty good. There's no flare, is there? I haven't started this, but I read the preview for it. It sounded pretty good, so I'm collecting it. I'll get to it eventually. All right, next up, we got Scarlet Witch, number one. Picking it up because it's number one, and these are pretty dope covers. I like that. I like that a lot. Don't know if I'll continue the series though. We'll see. We got some homages. We got Black Panther number 13. So homage to Fantastic Four number 52. First Black Panther, very nice. We got Moon Knight number 19. This is a homage to Moon Knight number one. Very dope by Nakayama. We got Wolverine number 29. This is a nice little gift from Paul. I couldn't get one. Very nice. Very nice. This is a homage to the Wolverine first solo series, the limited series. Very nice. Um, We have Miles Morales, Spider-Man number two. I'm very happy that they brought back his costume. Very dope. This cover is dope. And then we have the homage to the Spider-Man number one from the 90s for Todd McFarlane. Very nice. We got another homage. We got Gold Goblin number three. Very nice. Boom. Uh, we got Avengers, number 64. This is a nice Phoenix cover. Very nice. And uh, this is another one that got me hooked. Daredevil issue 7. I can't wait. I think, I haven't read it yet, but I think he's about to run into uh, the Punisher. Don't tell me. Did you read it? No, I don't read that. But I know that both storylines are Mm -hmm. crossing over. And this is uh, Mary Jane Black Cat issue 2, Dark Web. Dark web is it's dark web. It's dark web. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Moon Knight issue nineteen. I'm liking Moon Knight. I think that's a new character there too, maybe. And Gold Goblin issue three. Now this this one right here. That's a good book. This has been a surprise yeah, that's because a good book right there. I picked up issue one thinking I'm just gonna get it. It's issue one. It's dark web. It's Spider Man thinking this is gonna be stupid. And I think this is the best thing coming out of Dark Web yeah. right now. Mm-hmm. Besides Chasm, uh, Chasm's a costume or whatever. 
And this is from last week, which that was from last week. This is uh, Spider-Man issue four. Picking it up just to uh, end of the Spider-Verse. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I got. And um, yeah, hit me, look me up, Empire Comics. I'm on YouTube and Instagram and TikTok. The One Minute War, The Flash. Look at that. I don't know what's going on, but we're gonna find out. And of course, Amazing Spider-Man number 17, because it is a dark web tie-in. And Assassin's Apprentice number two, which apparently uh, Aaron is a big fan of the novelization that this is based off of. So like, you know. Number one's really good. And number one is really good. And I bought it just because it was interesting. Now it's like, oh wow, it's cool. And of course, because I don't mess around, I am picking up Avengers War Across Time. Because it is drawn by Alan Davis and it is written by Paul Levitz and they're both wonderful and I feel like we should be giving this a shot. And of course, speaking of the dark, of the dark web, Mary Jane and Black Cat number two. Tilt this little more. There you go. Mary Jane, why do you have powers? Mary Jane, what did people do to, what did Peter Parker do to piss everybody off? We need answers. When he, Peter Parker is pissing people. Wouldn't it be great? <laughs> wouldn't it be great if the answer is revealed in one of these side issues? <clears throat> this is kind of cool. This is something that's killing the children. Issue twenty-six. It's the Virgin variant. This was uh, fifteen out of five hundred. So, yeah, this is an exclusive comic from Boom. Something is killing the children. Twenty-six. Kind of cool. Oh, and this Ultimate Spider-Man number one. It's a 9-4, but understand poly bag was removed. This oh. went out in the white poly bag. I didn't get it cleaned or pressed. It seemed like it would have been flat and everything. 9-4 uh, because there is a dink right there. A little nick that does color break. So, therefore, not a 9-8, 9-9, not a 10 -0. So it came back a 9-4. I'm happy with that. Yeah. So like I said, it wasn't a poly bag. A lot of times there's a line right down the center where the poly bag is pushed together. So that's typical. I mean, you know, it might work with a clean and a press, but I don't think so. I mean, that's one little color break right there. You know, okay, they give it a 90, you know what I mean? It might ri raise the grade up a little bit to undergo a clean and press, but it can't get a 99 or a 10 because it does have one color break there, which is why it's a 9 but still a really good book, right? Mm -hmm. Spider-Man number one, for again, sure. yeah. And then it, uh, it's his first solo book. Anyway, so that's that. And then this is kind of cool. This is uh, Momoka, Sam's favorite. So <laughs> this is the uh, comic mint edition of Venom 26. Uh, comic is another store. They do a lot of exclusives. We do our own exclusives, but they also do tons of exclusives. So they got Momoka to do this one. Nice. So I figured I'd show this off. Nice. Knowing you love a mimosa, 9.8. So yeah, every day we're getting new stuff in. I just want to remind people that we're always getting new books. I mean, I've got some Uncanny X-Men's here. Like, what's this? This is uh, First Callisto and the Marauders, right? Mm -hmm. The Morlocks, rather. Here's that fight with Storm, where Storm has no powers, but still fights Callisto. Mm -hmm. um, um, this is a newsstand continuation of um, Wolverine. So Wolverine 1 to 4. This is like part five. This oh. is where we come back to that story. Okay. And then Life Death, they did Life Death one with Barry Windsor Smith. This is part two. So Life Death part two at Storm. Like I said, just always new books coming in every day. So I just wanted to show off something like this. And if people like this, or they like this segment, maybe what we could do is like every week, show a few more books. I mean, I've been doing it, but maybe we can do it a little bit more often, yeah. hopefully in the future. Excellent. Yeah, cool. Well, thank you. Peace out. Batman book every week. Batman and the Joker, the Deadly Duo. This has been really fun. And, uh, you know, Batman Joker team up. I haven't seen it in a little while, so it's good. And then, of course, Carnage. These, these covers have been. Whew, these covers have been trippy. They've been really good. 
and it's a carnage story that's uh, very different. So it's nice to get something different out of the character because he's usually very one note. Um, yeah, that's it. Light week. Next week's gonna be a lot heavier, but uh, thank you. This is the homage to Spider-Man. I guess what he, the homage to John Romita Jr. and John Romita Sr. did the walk away. He was quitting. I think this here is Black Panther, but the reason I picked this up is because Tolson's on the cover. I think this is Tolson's first cover print outside of this print, outside of that second print of number three. This is first time on the cover. This, I got this because Nemour is in the background. Nemour. This one, I just wanted to read it. This is, when you look at the artwork inside this thing, this is the early Jack Kirby how he used to draw people like kind of thin like and it was like really really his good stuff until he started you know bulking them up a little bit this has been a pretty good book predator they keep everybody the critics dog it but i like it this girl is fighting these predators to kill their family this is the final issue but it's not the end there's a lot of books too this is photon captain mar no monica rambo photon I want to, I just started, I read the first one, I want to keep going. This X-Men book right here, I seen Laura in it a lot. It's Laura and her dating this guy. They're, it's nice artwork, but it's about her man. I get the Batman, Urban Legends. I like the uh, stories. I'll like read a story and then, like this, these books, uh, I keep for like the month. Keep them for the month and kind of like read them slowly. Uh, the Dark Web stuff, Mary Jane and Black Cat. Uh, Spider-Man, Dark Web is a really fun series right now. Ms. Marvel, we're in all of this stuff tonight. Uh, Avengers, what is it? The uh, War Against Time, uh, The Flash, I think this is a key issue this week. Danger Street, number two. So there's a couple of Dr. Fate stories going on, Danger Street and the uh, the Justice Society. I'm gonna pick up the uh, the new DC event, the Lazarus. So I hope I like it better than Cliff liked. <laughs> Dark uh, Tiger Division number three. I'm gonna continue with this. The South Korea superheroes. Uh, two Graves is actually pretty good, and I've been enjoying this. X Men number eighteen. Wolverine, number 29. And Wildcats, number three. And those are my picks for the week on New Comic Book Day. Hope you all have a great week. Children, of course, number 28. I always get all the Star Wars, so I'm getting them dank. What's it? Dank Rex. Dank Rex. My, my favorite bowl of soup, Daredevil, number seven. Staying with it. Uh, Legion of X, number nine. It's a big week. Uh, Darth Vader, number 30. I always get the Noda covers when I can. I like the artwork. Uh, Star Wars High Republic, number four. Hey, Noodles. And I went with this one. I think this is it. Oh, it's a McNiven. It looks like Adam's, but it's a McNiven. I went with this for the Mandalorian this week. Uh, yes, yes, over 29 and X-Men 18 and then this is number two of Dream Master I still gotta read the first one but my idea looks like it might work for a cover so we'll see uh, have some time um, I saw some materials from the second issue a while back so it might, it might work uh, Mindset number six I think this is the last one on this um, Batman Incorporated number four I didn't realize Tim was doing artwork, so I'm looking at it. Uh, I am Batman, number 17, and finally Wildcats. That's where I'm at. Hope to see you again this weekend. Or I, I'm going to try and stump the clip with my so we'll see. He's probably going to tell me they're crap, so we'll have some fun. Either way, peace. I love some of the artwork on these covers.
Savage Avengers 29. I, you know, I kind of like the this ragtag team that they put together. You know, and even the last one uh, I thought was kind of cool. I will find out, but this is a homage to a to a cover that I have at home. Uh, I don't, I can't remember which which uh, comic it was from, but uh, it's the same where half of it's all like like zombied out, and the other half is the costume itself. So it's a cool cover. That's it. See you next week. Peace out. This is Black Cloak number one. I'm really cutting down on my Momokos, but I only got one this week. It's a very nice Momoko. Very nice. Gunslinger Spawn. Cover A. Is this your number 16? Yeah, 16. And cover B. Gunslinger Spawn is a dope book. We got Grim, another one of my favorite independent books. From Boom Studios, issue number seven. It's cover A. And then we got cover B. Very nice. Design variant for the Insidious Six. It's pretty cool. And then we got the homage cover for the Avengers and the Disney characters. So those are my picks. I hope you enjoyed them. Get out there, new comic book day. Support your comic book shops. And uh, thank you for watching. Peace. Tiger Division. I don't know what they call this variant, but I it uh, fine. It, it, it called to the D and D player in me. I went for it, and of course, Mark Millar and Jorge Jimenez on Nemesis Reloaded, which I swear is not the cover I picked, and yet somehow this is the cover I have. I guess I'll talk about the comics that I that I picked up that I missed at another time. So thank you for joining me, and uh, we'll see you next week for Clips Corner. Thanks for joining us again today. Um, another uh, new comic book day in the, in the books and the works is done. Uh, see you all Wednesday. Thanks a lot. Peace out, bro. See you next week. Look forward to it. Better be here. I'll be here. All right. Peace out, bro. Peace out, bro. Catch you guys next time. Come pick up your books. Until next week. Peace out, council. All right, check y'all out later. Peace out. Love y'all. Happy New Year. Be prosperous. Don't fight nobody. Conda forever. Peace out, guys. You guys have a great end of the week, great weekend, and uh, be safe. Peace out, Council of Comics. <laughs>